By this time tomorrow night, the most sweeping shutdown in MBTA history will be underway. The entire Orange Line will be out of service for a month. Tonight, the final preparations are underway as crews paint the roads for new bus lanes. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lisa Hughes. In the countdown to the shutdown, WBZ is drilling into the details every day so that you know what to expect and how to navigate during a challenging time. And that means road closures, parking bans, and suggested bike paths. Tonight, we begin with Christina Rex live in Medford. And Christina, time clearly running out for riders to make their plans. Yeah, Lisa, not only for riders, but for mass DOT crews as well. We actually just made our way over to the Somerville line moments ago. If you look behind me and see those flashing yellow lights, those are mass DOT crews. They've been working this way from Medford, posting signs to warn about upcoming shuttle bus lanes. At the same time as they're working through the night, riders are still planning how they're going to get to work. Putting on the final touches, bus lanes painted in busy Wellington Circle less than 24 hours before the Orange Line shuts down. I am praying on it. Praying for a smooth commute, whether it be on a shuttle bus, commuter rail, bike, or another line of the T. You can't move that many people in different ways without all of those ways getting congested. So, you know, lots of coffee before I leave the house and lots of wine when I get home. The expected congestion has local leaders practically begging riders to make a plan. It will be impossible to avoid chaos altogether. It's just the mere fact that this is a time of year when people are coming back to new routines in the fall will mean that people's lives will be unpredictable. But have riders decided how they'll get around? Yeah, I, I just think we're going to be sitting in red block traffic. Honestly, my plan is just to get up early. I haven't figured that out yet. Not all T riders have their backup commutes in place just yet. Many planning to test out multiple alternate routes next week. Waiting in the wings at Ruggle Station are these signs that will go out Friday, directing passengers to shuttle buses. But for some, buses aren't an option. Testing that next week, and I have a boot on my foot. Otherwise, I would I wouldn't mind the shuttle so much, but I really can't stand and be jostled around. A cast or a wheelchair. Realities many passengers have to navigate as they plan ahead. I was skeptical or, or stressed. AJ Pate plans to take the other train lines during the shutdown. He's hopeful it'll be worth the wait and comes with a fleet of new Orange Line trains. I hope that we get rid of all the old trains because they're not, um, they don't have spaces for like wheelchairs. So like I always feel really awkward riding like the old trains um, because there's like no place for me to like sit or that's like out of the way. And the MBTA promises that once this shutdown is complete next month, most of the trains on the tracks will be those new Orange Line trains, but not all. All of the new Orange Line trains are scheduled to be in use next year. These Mass DOT crews behind me, they say they'll be out all night into Friday morning working their way into Boston for those bus lanes. For now, live in Somerville, Christina Rex, WBZ News. Thanks, Christina. And a warning for drivers. You will get towed or get a ticket if you don't follow all the traffic changes that are tied into the Orange Line shutdown. City drivers, you are going to want to avoid these areas. Parts of State Street and Dartmouth are going to be closed to traffic to make room for those buses. There's also going to be more traffic on the Gilmore Bridge, Rutherford Avenue, and in Sullivan Square because the city is dedicating a full lane to the buses. And the city will be blocking off parking spaces at the end of next narrow intersections so those buses have enough space to make wide turns. And Shuttle bus is priority when it comes to curb space and street space because we know if we don't do that, people will not be able to move in the city, uh, but we're certainly trying to minimize the impacts that it has to other road users where that's possible. And adding to all the confusion were the literal